Hello and welcome to Desmond Stonders. This week we're at Drummond Castle and here is our photo diary of our visit. Thanks for watching. Welcome to this week's Desmond Stonders photo diary. Why not join us on our Donders? Drumming Castle is a 14th century tower house. It overlooks the confluence of the rivers Livet and Avon near the village of Glenlivet. Only two walls of this imposing castle have survived, which was thought to have been built for Alexander Stuart, son of King Robert II, better known as the Wolf of Badenoch. It passed from the Stuart family to the Gordon family in 1490. The castle was abandoned in the 18th century and fell into disrepair. Sighted as it is on the ridge above the confluence of the rivers, the castle occupies a natural strategic site. It is likely that the present castle is constructed on the site of previous fortifications and may originally have been an Iron Age Don. It is now a scheduled monument. There is little written history on the castle and what there is can be open to interpretation. However, it is recorded that King Robert II granted the lands of Strathaven, including Drummond, to his son Alexander Stuart on the 17th of July 1372. Alexander Stuart was noted for his temper and harsh justice. He is mostly remembered for the sacking and burning of Elgin Cathedral, as part of a long-term feud with the Bishop of Moray. It is unlikely that he was ever in permanent residence at Drumming, the castle being held by one of his sons. He also owned the strongholds of Lochindorb and Lochen Eiling, and would more likely be re resident there. It is thought that Sir Walter Stuart, the wolf's grandson, built the current castle in the late 1400s, replacing an earlier fortification. The same Sir Walter Stuart, however, disposed of the castle and lands pertaining to Drummond in 1490, when they passed to Alexander, the third Earl of Huntley. The Stuart family continued to live at Drummond and nearby Kilmakley, until the early 1700s, when Gordon Stuart is thought to have been the last resident of the castle. It is presumed that the castle fell into disuse at about this time. The only other notable reference to the castle in the intervening period was that the Marquis of Argyll stopped there with his army before the Battle of Glenlivet in 1594. The ruins have been stabilised and access created up to and into the castle, so it's easy to explore. Behind the castle, in the walled garden, is the Glenlivet Community Orchard, which makes it a great picnic spot on a sunny day. The castle ruins are reached by a flight of steps or a sloping grassy path, both leading from the car park. A longer walk, the Drummond Circular Path, can also be started from this point. Diary. The 6th of August 2020. I headed off alone, originally heading for Cloddy Moss. However, on arrival it was extremely busy. I headed for Califa Viewpoint and spent the night there. I managed a few shots in video of the sunset, then a cup of tea and time to think of a weekend destination where Lindsay can find me. We decided on Drummond Castle and Lindsay will join me on Saturday.
7th of August 2020. I spent a slow morning at the viewpoint before heading off to Drummond Castle. There are one or two cars in the car park but plenty of room for me. The weather is warm and overcast. Hopefully it will be clear as per the forecast. After lunch I decided to fly the drone and not wait for the sun. I am glad I did because shortly after I landed the rain started. It continued on and off most of the day and it stayed warm and I was able to keep the door and windows open. I listened to the cricket and used my radio gear. The car park was dis busy despite the rain. It cleared up later and I was able to watch the birds go about their business until late. No wildlife spotted except the odd bee. The river was a constant whisper in the background and a lovely sound to drop off to sleep with later with the rain having ceased. of August 2020 up to do a little videoing then time to listen to the cricket it should be an interesting day the car park is very busy today but nobody is staying for long the cricket eventually ended with an unexpected home victory Craig brought Lindsay in the afternoon and they went up to the castle Lindsay then went to pick raspberries I flew the drone while Craig and Lindsay were at the castle and afterwards Craig left for home and we had a cuppa. Later we walked down by the river and watched trout rising after the hatch. Then back to the van for an evening watching birds and reading. I had a tram and it was soon time to head off for bed. of August 2020 another lovely morning it's Sunday so it's RSGB news time 40 meters today as 2 meters is just out of range the car park was relatively quiet but a number of walkers appeared as did the sheep farmer after a couple of cups of tea it was time to pack up and prepare to head home it was at this point I remembered the trail cam was out there is nothing on it when I went out to retrieve it. But that meant it must be time to head for home. Thank you. 
Wildlife White-tailed bumblebee Flying ant Crane fly Hover fly Scotch argus Green-veined white Large white Red squirrel Birds Wood pigeon, carrion crow, swallow, grey lag goose, rook, goldfinch, robin, blackbird, black headed gull, jackdaw, buzzard, sparrowhawk, chaffinch, grey wagtail, wren, greenfinch, tree pipit, grey heron, common gull. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.